Hello people! <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's a, well, it was a really nice Saturday. The sun's kind of come and gone here the last few hours. But it's still not bad. At least it's not raining again. <laughs> oh my. What I was going to do, just a quick lesson. I had to drive my car in the rain. You know, after I did all that other stuff to it, I told you guys about the other day. And what I'm doing is just a quick, just a quick rinseless wash to get the dust and that kind of stuff off of it. A couple of the surfaces that I'm going to work on when my new buffer arrives today is supposed to be here. 440 something now. And it still hadn't got here. Who's that popping up on my screen there? I can't really see. I can't tell who that is. I haven't quite got the hang. Oh, hey, Mr. Prince. How you doing, brother? It's good to see you guys. I was just going to give a quick, quick lesson. I just sprayed rinseless wash on the hood and the roof. And I'm just getting the dust and the dirt off of it. Who is that popping up there? I oh, Miss Stephanie. Let's see, do I remember you live a really long ways away? <laughs> I was just going to do a quick demo on how when I do dry my car with a microfiber towel, how I do that. I, there's a number of different ways you can do it, a number of different towels you can use, blah, blah, blah. I just put some rinseless wash on here a while ago, just wiping the dust off of it and blah, blah, that kind of stuff because I had to drive it in the rain yesterday, I believe it was. But what I was going to show you is this. There's all kind of companies out there with all kind of towels. This particular one is the Sucker Junior from Dallas Paint Correction Luxury Microfiber Towels. I really like it. Now you see a lot of people when they go to dry their car, they'll fold up their microfiber towel, whatever it is they're going to use, the cotton towel, and they'll just rub it back and forth across the, um, the paint, which is probably going to leave some amount of micro scratching behind. But what I'm going to show you is with one of these high quality drying towels, this thing will absorb. I saw one lady, I forget her name, she's out of Florida, a detailer. She tested hers and it held, it absorbed. She put it in a, a gallon bucket of water and it absorbed all of it. So it's very, very absorbent, very, very plush, very, very smooth. But I'm going to show you all you really got to do. I'm going to spray a little bit more O and R on this part because I stood around and let it dry out a little bit. That's okay because I got to buff this car anyhow. But I'm just going to show you, really, all you have to do is you take it and you just lay it right on the car, get it up here where it's supposed to start, and you just drag it down the car. You need no pressure whatsoever. None. Now you might have to go back, like this spot right there where it's kind of down in the, the crook there, and drag it over that. All that moisture is gone, folks. It is gone. And I'm putting zero pressure on this drying towel. Zero. And all I'm doing is draping it. I've already done most of the roof. Oh, looks like that might be my buffer pulled up out there. But just showing you, really, you ain't got to rub and dry and squeeze out and all that kind of stuff. Just get you one of these high quality drying towels, and I'm sure there's other companies out there with them. In fact, I know there are, I can't recall them right now. But this is all you gotta do. It dries it, doesn't leave any streaks, nothing. So that's that. Just a quick lesson for you folks. And when I get done with it, so that if I'm going to use it again, like I am here just in a few minutes, Miss Stephanie, I'm going to, I put it inside a gallon bag, and it's a freezer bag, plastic bag, 
and I'm just probably being overly cautious because then I just zip it up where because it's damp now slightly damp I don't want any dust and dirt adhering to it so that I don't get any unnecessary scratches in the paint <laughs> thank you guys for watching I'm gonna go get my new buffer and unbox it and make sure it works it's a new long throw 15 millimeter throw DA buffer Stephanie I've got two or three of the old school ones in here but I tried one of these out not too long ago and I really 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 liked it so I just had to order me one I've been wanting to order one for a while now but I could not order it anymore the other thing I'm gonna let y'all know is it's a little chilly today it's not bad outside but what I did is I turned turned my heater on over there just to make sure my temperatures range stays about in the right area for these products to work to their maximum ability when it gets too cold sometimes they'll still work but their ability to work properly for the chemicals that are in there to perform right it slows way way down and is not quite as effective the same thing as if it's too hot I'm not talking about direct sunlight I'm just talking about temperature so I regulate the temperature in my garage not from my comfort but for the products that's why I have heating and air in here and sometimes like the other day when it's very very humid extremely humid it was a matter of fact it was pouring down rain outside I'll turn the air conditioner and the heater on at the same time to keep the temperature about right but also to try my humble attempt to try and control the level of humidity in the room all right folks i appreciate y'all very much i'm gonna go get my buffer now and i gotta redo the ceramic coating thank you bye bye